Hello friends, this is Coltron. Welcome back to Subnautica. This time I'm going to head... Last time we went to that nightmare zone. I mean, half this game is a nightmare zone, but we went to that special nightmare zone where it was dark and sandy and there was a reaper and a wreck. And we got a vehicle console which I want to install and see what it does. Oh, and part of the footage that got cut out last time is that I made some base improvements. And so let me show those off here. So for one thing, I made two exterior grow beds on the advice of my, my friend ZZ, where I popped in some creep vines. I was hoping the creep vines would go higher than this and actually sprout bulbs that I could use as lubricant, but no such luck. Uh, and I also put in some brain coral and some acid mushrooms. No particular reason why, just because uh, they're easy enough to get from where I am, but figured it'd be a nice little extra thing to have. I don't think I can actually pick out the brain coral and take it with me. Can I? Anyway, still pretty neat. Also, it was, this was, this, I was fine with it before, but when Alan Reviews mentioned it, it was one of those things that, like, I started thinking, like, you know what? Yeah, why did I do that? That's annoying as hell. Uh, the moon pool was detached before. I had some trouble attaching it, actually, to the base, but I just added an eye column there and yeah now the moon pool is attached so that's good it's a loot off my mind because again this is the sort of thing that I was fine with but once it's brought up it's like it's sort of like the the painting that's just slightly askew that you can't stop that you can't unsee also uh, my friend Almeron mentioned that the, because I was having trouble figuring out what to do with a, what's it called, with a, I forgot how words work for a second, with a bulkhead. I couldn't find a way to put it in anywhere, and Almeron in the comments suggested that it might be, wait, there's a lot of new blueprints that popped up. Hold on a second. Let me, I'll look at that in a second, but um, Almeron suggested that it might work if, it might just be the kind of compartment that needs a bulkhead. And I think that was, ended up being right. I didn't actually put a bulkhead. Oh, vehicle upgrade console, okay. What is, what's this? Oh, and the chic plant pot, of course. What do I need for, no, I'm getting distracted. Bulkhead, so yeah, the bulkhead does work in an eye compartment. So it looks like it just needs that very particular type of compartment to actually work. It doesn't work just in the regular tunnels between like it doesn't work just here for some reason I also updated my hey is it not I, I changed around my my aquarium setup a little bit I thought there were two bone sharks I put in here did the cuttlefish eat one or I put a bone shark and a bone shark egg. I thought I could have sworn I put a bone shark egg in here. Did I not put a bone shark egg in here? I don't know. I'll, maybe I just don't remember putting in the bone. Maybe I just forgot that I didn't put in the bone shark egg. Or maybe the cuttlefish is the world's deadliest predator. I had two bone shark eggs. I was sure of it. I was sure that they put in a second bone shark egg here. Because I thought I would make this place like bone shark central. But I guess not. Sorry, okay, well, that sucks. Uh, anyway, I also, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I could go. I could just put in a stalker and a stalker egg there, and I can reproduce, re get the ha the stalker population going. But I was hoping, I thought it'd be cooler to have a biofuel, to to fuel my bio needs by with bone sharks. I also made a little uh, jelly ray containment center up here because jelly rays are the most beautiful creatures. Look at them, utterly gorgeous. Also, I think I'm going to use one for fuel and see how that goes. Nature's most majestic gasoline. Oh, and my inventory is full for now.
Look at those Jelly Raid juices just getting churned up nice and fuel-like. Okay, so 18 new blueprints popped up. I don't know how I got this many, but I want to see what it's talking about. Sea Moth Depth... See, when did I get these? Did these all just come because I now have access to the vehicle upgrade console? Holy shit, that changes things. Holy shit. And some of these, I don't know how I'm going to get Kia Knight. I've never seen Kia Knight. I have one Plasteel Ingot, I think. Seamoth Module Mark III. Mark II and Mark III. Wow. Okay. Seamoth Depth Module Mark I. Okay, so this answers my question about last time. If a Seamoth dies, it's going to be that much more expensive to rebuild, but we can just make another of these. Hull Reinforcement. Preemptively hardens the chassis before collusion collision collision eliminating damage under normal conditions seamoth prawn compatible so some of these are very general upgrades okay i hope there's one for the prawn that lets me upgrade it to jump super high or to just fly engine efficiency up uh, uh, module recycles heat byproduct to minimize power and efficiencies seamoth and prawn nice Hasn't really been an issue for me. This would be low on my priority list of things to make, at least as is currently, just because they are already pretty efficient and keeping an extra power cell on hand is not a big deal. Storage module, excellent. Seamoth solar charger. Recharges the Seamoth's power cell while in sunlight. Again, not a huge deal for me. I Just power has not been an issue. Seamoth Perimeter Defense System generates a localized electric field designed to ward off aggressive fauna. Okay, giving Daisy's relatives a taste of their own medicine, potentially. That is really interesting. <gasps> Prawn Suit Jump Up Jet Upgrade. Powerful rear-mounted... Jets propel the prawn suit into the air. Nickel, crystalline, sulfur, all kinds of shit I haven't remotely seen yet. Seamoth torpedo system. Standard payload delivery adapted to fire torpedoes. This moth is about to become a devastating bumblebee. Wait, bumblebees are the ones that die when they sting, right? Seamoth sonar. A dedicated system for detecting and displaying topographical data on the HUD. Doesn't the Seamoth already have this? It's not that good. Wait, am I thinking of the Sea Glide? I'll come back to this in a second. I might be thinking of the... This might be the Sea Glide. Let me check this out here. Would you have to be in the water for this? Yeah, so the Sea, Mo the sea Glide does this, and it's kind of useless. It's very rare that I at least can, that I personally can read good information about, about this sort of thing, just from that topographical data. So that's probably not going to be a high priority. I'm going to try all of these, don't get me wrong, but um, my guess is that it's probably not going to be that, that useful for me. What else? Prawn Suit Depth Module Mark 1. I think the prawn suit I have is already below that. Unless the Mark I will improve it. Prawn suit th thermal reactor. Recharges power cells in hot areas. Doesn't stack. Okay. Again, I'll have to see if I actually start running into energy issues. Or if... I mean, the game might take me so far away from my moon pool that it, it won't be reasonable to expect to get back here. So that might be a way to go if I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the depths. Where's my prawn suit? If I were a prawn suit, where would I be? There. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I don't know how this is going to get much farther than 900 f meters down. Don't get me wrong, if it does go farther than 900 meters down, I won't say no. I'm just... That sounds already sounds pretty far. Grab. Grab. I like the suit. And I'd like it a whole lot more if I can put that depth module stuff in there, but there's so much stuff I just haven't found the resources for yet. Like, haven't discovered the resources for yet. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prawn suit vortex torpedo. Just an innocent little torpedo icon, nothing else going on there. Generates a localized gravity distortion. Load this into a vehicle torpedo bay or gas torpedo. Releases a cloud of toxic gas. Load this to vehicle torpedo bay. I wonder if I actually kill, if I can get this by killing a gasopod. I mean, one of the items is called a gas pod, so that seems possible. Okay, and there's two more things still. What else you got? Oh, the vehicle upgrade console, and then you got the uh, the chic plant pot. Okay, so I'm going to build... My next step is going to be to build a vehicle upgrade console. What is the chic plant pot? It's just up market. Yeah, this is just a fancier one. Okay. Oh, one more change I made. I was thinking about how... I don't, just the idea that Alan Reviews brought up of just having a single base, and I spend a lot of time going back to my life pod. I don't need that I know that I need to do that, so I made a fabricator. I may also eventually make a radio and a medical thing too, but I haven't done that just yet. Why haven't I done that just yet? Let me do that right now. There, we got a radio. Medical kit fabricator. Can I? Oh, it's still building one. And a fabricator. Good. So we got our little base away from base here. Base away from escape pod. Escape pod away from escape pod. Is it just me or did the gel? Did this eat the jelly ray faster than it ate the stalker? Is there a hierarchy of how fast it eats things? Because the stalker definitely felt like a better bet from a, I don't know, from a bioreactor energy standpoint, unless I'm mistaken. What was that? Is that a thresher covered in gasopod pods? Did you get wrecked, thresher? Or stalker? Look at this thing. Or wait, no! What if this is the bacteria? Oh god, sorry. What if this is the bacteria? The bacteria that infected me, what if it's infecting this thing? Alright, this may be a foolish move, but I want to get a sample. Come here, friend. Let me kill you. I think I got it. Can I pick you up? No, I can't, but look at this thing. Is this gonna is this what I am gonna look like? It looks utterly corrupted. Oh, poor thing. So we now have the materials to make a vehicle upgrade console. Let's try this out. Do we put it, like, over here? Where do we put this? Vehicle upgrade console. Here we are. This terminal allows vehicles to be customized with different naming and color schemes and upgrade modules. Must be installed in the compatible moon pool module. Upgrades must be constructed at the, the dedicated fabrica fabricator. And upgrades include additional... Def okay, so you don't... No, I don't, I'm not sure what that means. Upgrades include additional defensive capabilities, scanning equipment, and storage. Okay. So no further hint, though, on where we put it. Beyond that, it has to be in the moon pool upgrade thing. Is it something that goes up above? Oh! Well, that looks like the answer, but is that the only answer? So it has to face the wall... It's a little bit weird, but that's okay. 
can make it work. Yeah, let's pop you, I don't know, over there, sure. Oh, oh, whoa, Seamoth docked. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. So I've just done a little bit of reorganization down here. I've set up, I've replaced my wall lockers with just straight up lockers. And in some cases I added signs because it annoyed me that you couldn't actually label these the way that you can label regular lockers. So I got my water and way too much salt in here. I got the limestone stones here, sandstone shale gems here, like quartz and other stuff I might find on walls, um, ruby, magnetite, uraninite, ion, uh, and this last one is just other, like, I don't know, random silicone and aerogel and batteries and crap I'll just shove in here for now. So now it is vehicle upgrade time, and testing time at least. Because I don't know which of these I'm going to actually want. So, first off, testing out Seamoth Sonar. I have a feeling this is going to be bad. I have a feeling I'm not going to want this. But I do want to try it, at least. So we're going to pop this. Where is it? Other side, right? Because I definitely want to keep the Depth Module Mark 1, Storage Module probably. Storage Module might be more of a flex option. It can be useful, especially when I'm going to be moving back and forth. I think it's just generally useful, but probably not as good as some other options. Do I have other Depth Modules? Depth Module Mark 1. Where's Depth Module Mark 2? Wasn't there one of those? Or have I not found Depth Module Mark 2 for my... For the... I've only found it for the prawn suit, not for the sea moth. Okay, so no, no other depth one just yet. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. So let me try. What, what does this do then? Whoa. Hi. That's not what I was expecting. Why is that good? I guess if I'm in somewhere that's incredibly dark and I can't use my lights, maybe it's good then? Even then, I'm worried. I guess here's a question. I assume the answer is yes. The sonar, if there's a creature that's drawn to sound, I assume the sonar will draw it in. Is that right? I think it is. Yeah, I don't quite understand why I'd want this, but I'll keep it in mind. I'll try to keep an eye out for situations where it might feel useful, but for now, I'm, it's not going to be my top priority. Next up is Hull Reinforcement. This is almost 100% that I'm going to keep it up for my Seamoth. Almost 100%. This seems fantastic in pretty much every circumstance that I'd care about. Pop this in you. Eliminating damage under normal conditions. I assume that it reduces damage also under less normal conditions, like when I'm yoinked by a, yoinked by a Reaper. Okay. Anything else I want to add to the... You know, I think I might, instead of the... I think I might want to try out the torpedo thing for the, for the sea moth. Can I make that yet? Yeah, I can make this. So 
We got a torpedo bay ready. To, we got torpedo a torpedo bay loaded, and I've just made four torpedoes. So I don't know how many I'll I'm a, at a time I'm allowed to load in. Let me just see if there's any description on these. Blueprints. I don't see any descriptions here. All right, so how do I load these in? Oh, there's probably a torpedo bay as like a separate thing I can click on. The question is where? Let me get you into the water so I can move around you more easily. All systems online. Access torpedo bay, yes. Oh, it comes pre-equipped with two torpedoes. So let me pop in the remaining ones. Okay. Now we have six vortex torpedoes. I want to test them out, but I don't. they're precious enough that I don't want to waste them. So I think I'll just keep them in mind for now. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with this setup for, for the moment. Let me check out the prawn suit now. Let me test one more thing, though. What happens if I bump into something? So it still does damage. Does that do less damage? Let's see what happens if I... Let's see what happens if I remove the... Or I probably can't access the upgrades outside the moon pool, right? Oh, I can. That's surprising. Let's remove hull reinforcement. And try that again. Yeah, so it actually halved the damage. So instead of going down 10, it went down 5. So, yep, even then, very, very good. Now for the prawn suit, what do we want? We have a bit more flexibility. So what, what, what actually can we make, first of all? We can't make a depth module. Can't make a thermal reactor. Jump jet upgrade we can't make. Drill arm we can't do. We can do a torpedo arm. Let's give it a torpedo arm. Okay, where is this? Ponsu torpedo arm. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And now let's see, where does, where's the actual... Okay, that's the power cell. Where's the bay? Whoop! Where are the actual torpedoes? Can they access it now? Yeah, so am, I don't know if I'm able to access it when it's in the, sea, in, in the moon pool. It feels like I should be able to. I might just be approaching it from the wrong angle or something. Okay, good. We got that loaded up. So what does that... So now we have a choice to make. Oh, now I just have to be really careful about using... Is it the right one? That's the... How do I know which is the... Which button makes me do torpedoing? It looks like left is... I mean, I see the claw to the left. Yeah. So right is the torpedo. So I have to be really careful not to misuse that. By the way, this is... My experiments with the bulbo trees for, bio, for the bioreactor are very strong so far. This feels like something I might be able to use if I want to set up a more, more permanent base. This feels like incredibly good. Like it lasts a long time and feels um, renewable. It feels very renewable to use the bioreactor and to, to use bulbo trees in a bioreactor. So I'm going to keep that in mind if I want to make a, a base farther away. There. So I added a hull reinforcement there. Do those stack? Can I add multiple hull reinforcements? I don't want to, but can I? Because the prawn suit already seems pretty solid, but can I add multiple hull reinforcements if I wanted to? 
What else? I can't do depth module. I can't do thermal reactor. Can't do jumpsuit. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay. Um, good. Good, good, good. Maybe I should see if I can get a gas pod. Let me try using the this thing to kill a gasopod and see if that helps. Oh, whoops. Hmm. All right, let's try that again. Aim, shoot. It's actually probably good that I'm getting this practice in because, whoa. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? It wasn't just, I thought it was just going to be a, an explodey thing, but I thought vortex was like, it actual, it makes an actual vortex. So it serves as a form of protection as well. Okay. So I'm not going to waste any more of those right now on you, but... Especially not when you can hurt me so bad with your gas pods. Am I immune when I'm in this? Okay, so I killed it. So now can I loot its body of gas pods? Can I, like, carve gas pods off of this thing? Doesn't seem like it. I don't know how to get their gas pods. Maybe maybe the gas pods are just something that comes up later. The other thing I could try is making them afraid and then trying to grab a gas pod before it pops. That sounds like a really bad idea. But there is a window, a very short one, where I might be able to try it. Let me try that. I, I could well die. Oh, shit. I could also die from you, but probably not. All right. Pop out gas pods. There. That's how we get it. That's how we got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. That's really cool. So I have to get them before they pop. But it seems like they're just going to spew them out from their butt a, a lot. Like whenever they're afraid. Boo. Yeah. Oh, uh, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with gas, literally. We now have some gas torpedoes. I don't know if these will be any good, but again, I can... If they don't work out, that's okay. So can I access this torpedo arm from, this, from in the moon pool? It sure doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looks like I have to be outside the moon pool to load this thing. Which is weird. Because I can access all the other components, just not the torpedoes. Definitely weird. Also, it's just thinking about the, especially the, the solar charger and the thermal, because I don't have enamel glass yet, and I don't have polyaniline yet, or kyanite. But once I get those, I actually, because I know now that I can replace upgrades outside the moon pool, I might be. I might just decide to keep these on hand for if I need them. Like I might, if I'm going somewhere deep with the prawn suit, I might keep something else normally, but then just replace it with the thermal reactor when I'm near a hot spot and just recharge it and then swap the thermal reactor out. That seems like the way to go. But that's going to be it for me for for this session. Uh, next time I will continue with. The exploration I started last time, I started in the, the prior video by going to the, the three areas that I haven't set up a scanner room in yet. One, the bulb zone. Two, the northeast mushroom zone. And three, Zappy Island. That's, for, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.